What's up, Peter? Hi, Venus. Hola, Hello, Iris. Hi, Mary. Hola, Ruth. Thank you for being part of HS family. It was great to have you. Now you are graduating. I wish you all the best. Also, I will meet you.
I wish to be a person who can leave this world a happier place than when I first entered it. I wish to be a person who is successful and honest. I wish I can be a happy person, buy young and have fun. I want to be a person like my father, honest and humble, but I would like to be a soccer player as well. I wish I can be a person who brings happiness to everyone. I wish I can make a difference in everyone around me. I wish I can be an extremely hard-working person and be extremely satisfied with my life. When you come to this school, you feel like it's going to take forever for you to graduate and you really want to leave the school as soon as possible. When you're about to leave the school, you feel really sad and that's how I feel. And Hi to all my friends, go a boy, I love you all. Samuel, you know me, I like you and you like me. JK, JK, Jin Ha, you've always been there for me. I'm blessed, I'm blessed to have you in my life. Matthew, I knew you for four years. I can't explain how good of a friend you are to me. Always supporting and loving. Albert, you're funny even though I met you for the first time. I still think that you could be a good friend. Bros are like bros, like what Hanson once said. You guys are near my heart. Thank you. Hi all you teachers of HJS, Miss HT, Mrs. Cougar, and Miss Smith. You guys are like the three musketeers in my life. I feel really grateful having you guys to be my teachers. Mr. Pullman, peace. You taught me how to be a man, and now I'm hoping I'm a man. Mr. Hong, BAC, President. Yep, I hope you carry on with this club and bring more people into the club. Hey, Dad, I really want to thank you for bringing me to places all around the world, feeding me. Without you, I wouldn't have been here. Mama, Hi Jack, I hope you have a good time in England and I hope you watch a lot of soccer. Remember that the deals we made. Cute Malaysian brother, I'm gonna miss you when you go to England. I love you Jack. Oh. When I first came to HAS, there were only like 20 students. Now I have like over 100 people. I know I'm definitely not the best president, but I've tried my best and I hope that I've contributed a little, just maybe a little to the school. Thank you to all my friends at HAS. My life here would not be so amazing if it weren't for you guys. Hey Vivian, I'm so happy that you didn't fall short of your college aspirations. And I hope you find your Perfect Jackson in the future. Sandy, I know you're gonna miss me next year. Don't miss me too much. I won't miss you at all. Just kidding. So Vivian, you're gonna leave. Fine, leave. I will not. Uh, maybe a little bit, like this, a little bit, like two millimeters. Miss you. Like miss the time we get go crazy, shouting out in the hallway, and then doing crazy stuff. Um, thanks for always being there for me. You know you're annoying sometimes, but you're really funny, and you know we talk about stuff. Mary, we just got to know each other like this year, but I really admire our art, and I'm really glad that I have an art buddy, Chen Hai, my bro. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the states. You know, remember our Chivian story. Thank you so much to all the teachers. To be honest, I think the teachers are actually my favorite part of HAS. Mr. Pullman, I really love all your jokes and the funny videos. I will always remember cat jump fail when I go to college. Mr. Donnelly, when I entered AP English, I was really, really worried ability, but you always turned me on, gave me a lot of compliments. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, I know that in the past two years, I was very hard. I'm sorry, I didn't have to help you in the house. Dad, I love you. Present tense love. I swear on everything that I believe in, I will make you proud in college and in the rest of my life. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Although I'm leaving the school, but I'm not sad because I'm so happy I'm going to study in New York City. I will work super hard to achieve what I dream of, so I'll be back. I want to thank all of my friends. They are really nice to me, especially Becky, Ruth, Michelle, and Jocelyn. I really like the time we spend together. Hi, Minas! 
you are one of my best friends. I'll miss the time we are playing bingo during the history class. But I'm also really happy that um, you're going to the school that you've always dreamed of. I think you're the craziest girl that I've ever met in my life. And I'll never forget whenever you are trying to make me happy when I'm mad. Good luck in college. We all love you. Mr. Pullman. I really like your class. You make calc and stats super, super fun. Math has been my favorite class of all time. And Mr. Murphy, thank you for helping me with the application and my college stuff. You have helped me a lot. My mommy, thank you for letting me come to this American school to study. Thank you for always being there for me, encouraging me. Thank you, Dad, for helping me to go to the United States. Although it was a little bit hard for me, it still helped me to go. Dad, you're one of my favorite writers. That's why I wanted to go to the American school to study. So I'm very grateful for you. Venus, you work hard and work with smile. Have a amazing life. Thank you, Dad, for helping me to go to the United States. You cut hard and the sweet smile have made what you are today. I hope you can keep up the positive attribute. Venus, 到我纽约之后，我希望你能好好享受你的大学生活。爸爸妈妈在台湾永远都支持你哦。Love you. One thing I've taken the most out of this school is it's small. Being small doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Being small just means that it's a bigger family. I would like to just thank all my friends. I want to especially thank the Low Bros, James, Jack, and Joe, because they've been with me for all these four years and they've been especially close to me. Thanks to both of the Sams that I've met. Sam Chafe, I hope that you learn from me as much as I've learned from you, because you certainly let me see a lot of who I can become. Peter, hope you do well in college. I think you also should go continue with your bass play. You are the first student in HS I've met, and then you have helped me a lot when everything here is new for me. And for Samuel Cho, you're probably one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Keep up the corny jokes. Even though we'll probably never go to the same school, just be sure to keep in touch because you've been a really great friend to me. Thank you. Hey Peter, I really enjoyed the bus rides we had and the conversations we had on the bus ride. However weird they got, and working out with you was pretty fun. Yeah, we gotta flex our muscles. I'd also like to thank Ms. HG, who has helped me so much during these two years, especially during student government, senior year applications. Mr. Witty for being with us and dealing with us through all our MUN trips, especially Bay Moon and Simon. Thank Mr. Wilson. I know you're not gonna hear this, but I just want to say you've been the biggest part of my life. You've helped me develop personality and become a better person, Dad. I know you haven't been with me through most of my elementary and middle school life, but you've certainly made up your time and dedication and your love for me during these four years when I moved back to Taiwan. Although I have not really especially shown much gratitude for you. Keep inside, I love you a lot. And mom, you've given your love for me 24 hours in 18 years. Although we've been through our fights, we've had our arguments, just know that if I could pick one person who I could be with for the rest of my life, it would be you. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Hey, Muzu, this is Papa. Uh, Mommy, I'm very tired, so I didn't want to record. It's so fast. Time is flying. Four years is over. Papa, when you came back, you were just a little boy. Then one day, you called Papa to take the knife out. You said you wanted to take the knife out. Papa knew that my son had grown up. I'm very happy to see you this four years. You were able to graduate in four years. In August, you were going to go to the University of California to study. I'm very happy to see you here. I hope you have a good life in the future. 多彩多吃，然后然后能够常常回来看爸爸跟妈妈。OK， love you。I'm almost crying。Sadly, I'm a senior now, and I'm gonna graduate really soon. But just spending this little time with this school, I really wish that I had more time here. Thanks to all my friends, your love and support have helped me so much this year. I love you guys so. Much. Hey Mary! I really enjoyed our chats during our class when we weren't concentrating on doing our work. From that, I know you and I share uh, the same views on so many different things. Happy graduation and don't forget to come back and visit us. Vivian, hope you married the one you openly admire. And thank you Sandy for turning me into a crazy old lady like you. Iris, hope you marry a handsome Italian and came back with a mixed blood baby. Thanks for all the teachers that guided me through this troubling senior year. Especially to Mr. Palman, even though you're always mean and sarcastic, but you always made my day. Thanks to Mr. Johnson too for being patient and understanding towards me. Thanks to you guys! Your dad and mom, thanks for providing.
everybody need this opportunity to pursue my dreams. I know it's been a difficult year, but thank you all, and I love you guys. Uh, Mary, Mary's have a little left, little left, little left. You have the right to remain silent, so please remain silent. Mary. I think it's a pretty cool experience that I actually been to two high school in my high school life. I love HAS. It's full of passion and love. Thank you all of my friends for bringing me so much love in this six month to me, uh, especially Becky. You made me understand how to ride scooter better. Hello, Iris. We had a lot of great memories together when we go out singing and we go to movies and stuff. So, and thank you, Venus. You made me know that being crazy is so much fun. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Even though you didn't teach me for a long time, but you still made me learn a lot of things. Hi, Dad. Thank you for not forcing me to go to medical school. Because I know I'm not the type of person who suits for being a doctor. And thanks, mom. Dad wouldn't change his mind without you. Because you're always saying that life is about happy. It's not about what job you're doing. And I feel you. And I'm happy right now. I love you. Don't forget me. Uh, to all my friends, uh, thank you for coming into my life. It was a really different environment for me to adjust to at first, but like once you start getting to know everyone, it becomes so much easier to come to school. I moved to Taiwan like a year and a half ago about. Everyone who I've met so far has like made a really big impact in my life. I'm definitely gonna remember you guys. Hey Samuel, um, I can't thank you enough. Peter Bless, you're a really cool person. Always stay true to yourself and you are Tai Mu Noob. And you have always been a great advisor to me in Lifetime. Chin Hai and Sam Che. You're both really important to me too. Uh, I'm really glad I met you. Samuel, you better keep my first face, because in 10 years, it's gonna worth like a million dollars, I'm sure. Also, Jack and Joe, because James is in here. Keep doing what you're doing, and don't be afraid to do better than what you're doing. We are your drift compatible. And thank you for introducing me to the U-Bike in Taipei. Miss Aishi has been one of those teachers that, like, that profoundly changed you. Miss A, she always had like a really positive attitude and like would always help me after school. She's just one of those teachers that either you really wish you had or like the ones that you're really glad that you had. Thank you, Mr. Donnelly, for all those interesting discussions we had. He's really chill about the whole class and he's really open to trying out different methods to teach us. Mom, thanks for coming with me to Taiwan. Like it's been a long a year and a half and like you've always been there, physically been there and like emotionally been there. Now that I'm older, you don't have to be worried about me anymore. Like, I could take care of myself. So, you know, like, I'll go to college and I'll still think about you a lot. So thanks, Mom. Uh, to Dad, I know you weren't always in Taiwan, but, like, you'd always Skype call. Like, those meant a lot to me, too, when, like, you are there for me. And, like, you've always supported me with every decision, like, good or bad. Awesome time. Yeah. It has always been a difficult job to watch and care for children. But I feel that no matter how difficult it may be, I'm always proud of my children. I'm glad that he still cares for his family. He is always asking how his family in America is doing. As you growing up and move to the college, Samuel, do not forget who you are and where you are from. Chou Mu Xin, you're my friend. I'm very Bye bye. And I wish you the best. Hello, seniors. Tommy here asked me to give you one advice to carry with you through the rest of your life. Advice number one, that which we manifest is before us. And number two, 
marry someone who can cook. Take lots of naps. Naps are good for you. Call your mom. Everything is going to be fine. And I think that you should really learn to cook. Anyone that has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So never stop trying new things across your life. Have fun at college, but not too much fun. Remember why you're there. To study, to learn. So do those things and you're going to be great. Be kind, and if you want something done, you should do it yourself first. The attitudes that I saw all the students have on the campus at HAS uh, were absolutely excellent, and I just hope that you continue to bring that attitude out into the world when you're no longer in a small school. Don't procrastinate. Cite your sources. It's been a real joy getting to know you guys over the last four years and teaching you. But I want to remind you that 50% of people are below the median in every classifiable category. So do your best to try to stay out of that 50%. Seniors, at this important milestone in your life, I'd like to share some wisdom that my dad passed on to me when I was a little kid. He said, Austin, always give back more to the world than you take from it. So I think if you take this as your guiding principle, you're bound to do fantastic things. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Um, what do vegetarian zombies eat? Grains. Grains. Run three laps! Life is too short to spare even just a minute to those people or things that make you unhappy. So, live your life, be happy, and good luck in the future! Never stop learning and never stop loving and you'll be okay. Always ask yourself the question, will this matter one year from today? And if the answer is yes, then it's definitely worth your time and effort. Don't give up on what you want most for the small thing that you may want in this moment. Remember, move forward with purpose. And remember to relax a little too. Life is hard and if people tell you it's not hard, they're not being honest with you. You should definitely trust your ability to make it through and push on and pursue everything that you want in life. That's absolutely what you should do. Just go, do the best you can. Have some fun for the next four or five years because this is the last chance to have fun before you have to work the rest of your life. I know in advising this year you wouldn't always take my advice. Uh, I couldn't get you to plan your senior trip at all, but I'm certain that all of you will go on and do great things and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. So that's what I have to say. Good luck to you. And then I forgot the lyrics. Gains. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to be a person who can leave this world as I have. <laughs> 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 leave this field. I'm big and jump to it. Percy Jackson. <laughs> Percy Jackson. <laughs> 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 Mr. Murphy, thank you for So who am I talking to? I wish to be a person who is successful. That's it. What? There are many. What the cut to? I have no friends. I'm so lonely. <laughs> to my friends, you are all replaceable. I'm going to make new ones in college. <laughs> I'm almost crying! Oh! Holy cut! No! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you.